Oos, this is the first official video where I'm officially have announced that I'm going to be a father. It's crazy. Now I'm officially a dad. I know I've been like unk. I've already been like uncle, you know what I'm saying? Like dad already. So now it's like a legit though. Wade interviewed, I don't even know who he, who he interviewed, honestly. I've been busy in the dojo, you know, helping take care of my wife who's pregnant and all that good stuff. But Twitch tv forward slash wade plem all that stuff you can be honest with me you can be honest with me did, was uh you know what i'm saying did we go to turkey did we save it to turkey was my hairline that bad was it that bad i mean oh wait wow so wade listen wade's gangster you start out the interview let's get right into business we're going straight for the low blows dude right for the hairline yeah, you can tell slim didn't well he didn't want to admit it right away oof but then they're having good fun. Good fun. Oh, Wade's bringing up pictures. <laughs> He's bringing up the proof. Oh, no. Slim. Slim didn't admit nothing. He was going to the grave with that. They idolized me out there, bro. Like, people running them, little kids, older men. Uh, people, it's crazy. So imagine if I was living there. The, the women, too? Or? No. Oh, women. <laughs> bro, yo. I slim I agree we just heard this part how he said you know people come up to him and it's true I'm way more famous in the UK than I am here but I'm dead Wade is so far with the hairline bit number one and then this number two slim said you know kids come up to me notice me grown men and then Wade's like wait the women they come up to you and <laughs> he's gotta slide that in dude. No, I'm saying, I'm, I'm, damn, imagine, imagine look at there, bro, slim done it no, yeah. It's like, again another one denied. Wade denied. Slims and I doesn't even answer it. Just keeps it moving. Yeah, he, he had a good little. I'll I, I give him props. He had a good little run. It was a good little run, you know, for like the babies, for little kids. You know what I'm saying? He okay. beat Austin McGroom, a basketball player, a college basketball player that sat on the bench that averaged like two points a game. Bro, don't Ooh. hey, don't disrespect Austin. He'll cook no. you on the court, bro. Don't no, do that. No, don't no. do that. Wait, don't fucking say that, Wade, bro. I watched you play basketball. <laughs> no, Wade, do not say that. I watched Don't that video a couple what? years ago with that girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I had to pause it. The only time I paused it is the three times. This is number three. Wade coming in with the hook now. Talking about Austin McBroom. Well, Slim made a, a stab at Austin McBroom. He was a basketball player that came off the bench. And Wade's like, hold up. Don't disrespect uh, McBroom when it comes to basketball. And honestly, Wade's right. You know what I'm saying? I believe Slim would get cooked on the court. Because he was a legit basketball player. Legit D1 basketball player. But even if you're on the bench, it doesn't matter. Like, you, he's still cooking. And now Wade said he's about to say something about he watched him play on a video. I cooked you on the, on the court, bro. I, I, remember, I, I, I seen beat that, her. I I one, and that's me when I was playing trap. But wait, wait, I'm a different level now. <laughs> wait, now they're, they're arguing about a 1v1 that he had with a girl. What is going on? <laughs> it's so hard to watch this video. I feel like this is a breakdown video in the interview, which... I don't think I could ever, it'd be too hard for me to do it. I start laughing. I'm going to start dying laughing. Kid, and last, compared to last year, and it's all the way to where I'm right now, Wade, the levels is different, bro. I'm so, like, I'm fucking, I'm not a novice no more. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not a novice no more. I'm That's what I was hoping to hear. You know, a lot of it is about, you know, nothing to do with fighting, but I want to hear the fighting stuff. Um, but that's the big difference. You look at the, like, Slim hasn't fought in a while. Neither has Gib, but we know that G I feel like Slim has been training, right? Because he's been looking for a fight. So he's been actively looking for a fight. I don't know if Give has been training like that. Based on what I see on socials, he hasn't been as much. Like we thought he was really retired. I mean, not training. Maybe he has been. And I don't know. But I feel like, you know, it's so uh, difficult to gauge these guys in the scene because fighters right amateur fighter or pro fighter if they don't fight for a year we know that they're pro fighters that's their job that's their livelihood so they're going to be training in their off time even if they're not competing and they're not active right so but influencers like they take the time off you know a year off they could get worse right maybe they don't train they're doing content they're doing music they're doing whatever maybe they don't care as much then they get a fight and maybe what are the reasons they're taking the fight again right is it to be uh, you know it's not the same as actual fighters. So we can expect a certain level of like improvement. But with these guys, someone like Slim, uh, Kenny's another guy I think about where all you see him is in the gym. So if Slim has just been in the gym for a year, the amount of improvement that he can make, these guys can make in a year in comparison to the last fight is 
you know it's crazy so maybe he's not wrong you know basically if you look at their last fights maybe it's closer but has gib gotten as you know a lot better is slim a lot better that's interesting because it had i forgot how long it's been and we could be looking at a completely different fighter when i land when you land yeah. not if when i land bro he's gonna fucking break apart and run away for the rest of the fight yeah. or he's gonna fucking not get up honestly but yeah he got dropped by austin mcdookie bro okay we just, we're not gonna... he got dropped by austin mcdonald what's, what's your deal with austin man he's, <laughs> I, like austin. Done austin, that's my boy. I like austin but I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm a new yorker i talk shit <laughs> He goes, that's my Slim goes, that's my boy. Uh, everybody. Nobody's safe. I'm just saying Don't Austin's say a decent athlete. Or, I would say he, a good athlete. He's, he's a better athlete than you, Slim. Come on. He's a better athlete. Wait, get the fuck out of here. Wait. No. <laughs> oh my yo, I'm about to get out of here. How fast, oh, how fast how fast do you how fast do you run? That's like four or five shots of weight is taken at Slim. And Slim has had enough of it. Wade's about to ask him his 40 time. Watch, about to ask him his 40 time. I swear, he, I bet you he's gonna ask him his 40 time. And he's gonna tell him, I bet you it's not under f five. It's that you're not getting sub five right now. Watch, I predicted it right now. What a 40, you think? So. Here we go. Bro, all right, let me tell you something. Speed is never, I'm, I've never been the fastest. <laughs> let me tell you something. Okay. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> athletically, player too. Better basketball player. <laughs> hey, come on, wait, wait. I'm gonna be no, honest with you. On. You're not a better basketball player than me. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 this is like five or six for Wade. Look at Slim. Look at Slim. <laughs> Slim is about to leave the interview. He's about to bounce. Wade said, "You're not better than me." Look at Slim's face. Oh, this is great. Okay. <laughs> okay, Wade. Big body. Bruiser. He's gonna play it like a football game. Oh man. That's hilarious. Wade, Wade could probably beat him. You know what I'm saying? If Wade can get another little run, he's way bigger than Slim. 6'4, right? What is it? 6'3? I'm pure offense, pure offensive score. Where's your defense? What, happened? what happens with the defense? What you I'm gonna lock, lock you down, bro. I'm gonna lock you, you couldn't up, lock me. that girl down in the video I watched. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, number six. Shots taken. What the fuck? I didn't, I didn't consider this. Was this a like, uh, you know, hey, I, I, you know, <laughs> for you, let's go play a game, and I'll let you score a little bit, do the cute little thing. Is that, is that what we were doing? No, I don't know. No, 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 no. I was just, bro. I was, it's content. You know, bro, saying, so hey, girl, go play up. <laughs> hey, you know, you got me. Zero, you got if I want me. 15 zero, if you come to the West Coast, we can do it. It's, it's so easy, bro. Wow. What, what, there's a difference between East Coast boulders. And Look at this. <laughs> Wade's interviewing him, and now they're talking about playing one v one in basketball. Sign me up. We're oh, physical God. down there, farm boys, dog. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, That's physical. Okay. I don't know if you can handle that kind of physical <laughs> physicality in basketball down there. You know what I'm saying? Come you on, go for man. the pretty we, little we layup. You know what I'm saying? We, I have to... we play J ball, bro. In Brooklyn. <laughs> I, I want to be real. I'm, I'm gonna be fake. I think he's injured. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was real. <laughs> Slim is afraid of Twitter. It can be crazy out there. I must admit, it must. It can be crazy out there. It can be a dark place. You know, he wants to be careful what he says about JJ because he's afraid to lose everything, and that's how it can be sometimes. But this, you can't be afraid to speak up. Um, but he just said he's gonna be fake, and then I think he wasn't fake. Oh, I felt so good in that fight. I could have fought another six rounds. That's why I said yes to eight rounds. I felt so good in that fight. People don't know. They don't know, but they. I will say that's true. A lot of Slim's fights have been like short notice. You know what I mean? I can't remember all of them, but I know a handful have been short notice. So we might, you know, or an opponent change, or he has been the smaller guy in there, uh, which is difficult when something like Ryan Taylor, just a bigger guy, is difficult uh, to gauge like how he would do against somebody his size. You know what I mean? So again. A lot of stuff we haven't seen from him yet. We haven't seen it like, with the Salt Poppy fight. We saw a full full camp, and he performed really well. I think that's the, you got to go to the, the the small council with that, right? They did the vote. Small council right? has small nuts. <laughs> they got small nuts, bro. Honestly, <laughs> who are you talking about specifically? Because Mams All came out and said it wasn't him. He he wasn't the one that uh, voted well, that. Whoever way. made that list got s small nuts. Honestly. <laughs> I will say Slim is a straight up New Yorker, but he got a point. I don't, I don't, I forget the list, but I do remember being like, who made this list? And I know you talk about popularity as a part of it. And you know, cause it's influencers, it's influencer boxing. So that is a part of it, but 
yeah, I thought Slim was, you know, too low on it or too high, whatever. I don't know what it is. I, I don't think they like me. I don't think they like me because I'm American. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the funny part is Mams is American. You know what I mean? <laughs> he said I mean, but Misfits is a UK based, you know, company in terms of a lot of the fights are there, so that does make sense. But maybe it's more because you're anti KSI, you know what I mean? There's there's that. Maybe why they don't like you, because there's been you know what I mean? Not they don't like you, but this they may lean in other directions, but that's hilarious that he said that. I think you like to get a little, you like to dog out a little too much sometimes. Uh, but some it's I'm worked in your favor. Good at it. Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. That's what I was going to say. Man, the 50-50s, you've won. I w that is very true. Slim has been very good at the 50-50s. I hate to say it's even 50-50 because if you look at this, the Saul Poppy fight and even him with temper, because he's fighting in the close up or like in the clinch or you know dirty boxing it doesn't mean it's 50 50 50 50 means you're just blindly punching you're like flipping a coin and just say i'm swinging and hopefully you know i land more you know with more power more impact than you do that's a true 50 50 like just whatever we're throwing combinations slim some intelligence behind it you know what i mean he's looking for shots he's covering he's defending even the salt the, the big shot he landed against salt poppy He's looking for something. He's backed up against the ropes. He's defending. Okay, okay, okay. He's looking for an opportunity. It wasn't like he's just bite down the mouthpiece and just swinging. So it's not, yes, dogging it out makes sense in terms of like, we're just going to brawl or get close, but it's not like the way that you think about it. And that's why I think he's so good at it. And Gib, as of late, you know, he's been a guy that we always super active in your face, you know, forehead in your chest. But as of late, you know, the Taylor Holder fight, he wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? He was in and out, in and out, in and out, looking for his opportunities. Uh, the shot they landed against Austin McBroom was a great counter. So Gibb is somebody now <clears throat> has been focusing on creating distance. You know what I mean? We haven't seen that Gibb since before Jake Paul, because when he did it to Jake and tried to do it, he hasn't fought like that literally ever since. Again, even Jarvis, we're talking about footwork and good distance management for Gibb. So if he can get Gibb to do that, Gibb doesn't seem comfortable to me in in the pocket he wants to get out of there look for his opportunity land his combination and get back to safety which is a great way to box you know what i mean that's the way i want to box so i think those type of exchanges do benefit uh give for i mean uh slim for sure it seems like you don't KOs. it seems like yeah, you don't like like jarvis neither bro i don't know jarvis is a cool kid he's a nice kid i'm just an asshole when it comes to sports. <laughs> well i thought it was maybe cool. because of that weird thing where he was like in the ring and then he was not that oh my <laughs> god that was so, oh my god <laughs> Wait, had to bring that up. Too, bro. Like, yeah. How you come off getting beat up and then trying to call out to the top dog, bro? Like, it made no sense. But I swear I was about to Royal Rumble his shit out the ring. Like, <laughs> Jesus, who is this kid? All right. Look at my hair from my headset. My, oh my gosh. I need a haircut. So that was the interview. Um, I guess the press conference got, again, pushed back two weeks or so. Uh, but man, Slim is super confident super confident i like how he said yes to the eight rounds that was my biggest takeaway you know fight wise trying to get some anything i can get from you know fight wise i like the the eight rounds um that he didn't shy away from it because you know that's probably something gibbs says let's go eight whether he wants to say yes or no you know the fact that he wanted to do eight and then slim immediately said yes like no he didn't like go back and forth didn't you know say anything and is super confident about it um yeah man I think the other part of it too is obviously you get the pound for pound list. You know, Gibb comes in the favorite. Um, I think this plays into Slim. You know, just his personality loves being the underdog, and you're just giving him an opportunity to relish in that personality, training wise, and then the approach in the fight. When you talk about the lights and the environment, you know, you put Slim in that situation for where he feels like he's got nothing to lose, and you know, everyone's against him. That's like right in his wheelhouse. And then Gibb. Again, a lot of pressure. Um, and with someone like Slim, you have to be switched on. You can't you can't give him anything. You know, he's the type of guy like look at Saul Poppy was comfortable for a moment. Even though I felt like Saul Poppy was winning the fight, a close fight with winning it. He just took his foot off the gas for a little bit and thought, ooh, I got him. And if you give Slim an opportunity, he'll take it. So that's why I love watching Slim fight. That's why everyone loves watching Slim fight. So dope interview wade 10 out of 10. i want to see that 1v1 i gotta watch slim's uh, basketball highlights or something watch the clip he's talking about watching him play basketball but dude don't sleep on wade 
You might sleep on him, but remember, dude, he may look short on camera, but he's not. We know this, okay? Um, he's also two bills, so that would be hilarious, though, dude. Because, wait, if you lose the slim, I don't know how much some of a hooper slim is. But if you're talking like that and you lose, GG's, bro. Not good. I'll have to avenge you there as well, okay? All right. Oos.